The pursuit of artistic expression in the Berkshires takes a different turn at our next stop in America's cultural centre. For that, we're going to a very special place in North Adams. I'm standing inside the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute, and here to guide me is the senior curator, Richard Rand. Well, it's great to have you here in Thank you. what is probably our favorite gallery, the public's favorite gallery, where we have our really amazing display of Impressionist masterpieces, mm -hmm. including a large group of paintings by Auguste Renoir. I counted 15. Well, we have 15 on this the wall room. in this room. We have more than 30 in the collection. Wow. So it's one of the largest collections of Renoir's paintings. He's my mom's favorite painter. Well, your mother wow. should come and see because... She would go nuts in this room. Mr. and Mrs. Clark, when they founded the Institute in 1955, really wanted to share their wonderful collection with the public in a way that they enjoyed it, as a, in a domestic setting, like a house museum. So the, the ceilings are low, the gallery spaces are intimate despite the size of this particular space. People can get very personally involved with the works in this beautiful rural setting. Because one of the spectacular things about Williamstown and the Clark is people can enjoy these masterpieces in the quintessential New England rural landscape with the rolling hills of the Berkshires. Mm -hmm. We have wonderful paintings by other 19th century artists, the academic and salon painters like Bouguereau, Jerome, Alfred Stevens. We also have great old master paintings, smaller in number but equally um, beautiful. We have one of the very rare Piero della Francesca altarpieces outside of Europe. That's a great destination pic picture, as, as we say. But we also have fine silver. The Clark owns one of the great collections of British and continental fine silver um, outside of Europe. We have drawings and prints. We have a collection of photography. Um, so it's it's really rather wonderful experience for people to come here and and see this art in this beautiful setting. And Richard, what's your favorite painting in this room? Oh, that's always a difficult question because it changes every day. There are so many, but I would say right now, a picture I'm particularly interested in is this beautiful Monet. It shows the tulip fields at Sassenheim near Leiden in Holland where Monet had gone to paint in um, the late, the mid 1880s. I think this was painted in 1886. Well, thank you very much for talking to us, Richard. Well, been, um, enjoyed I'm... meeting you and yeah. come back again soon with okay. your mother. Okay, <laughs> will do. You can get more information at clarkart.org or at usamass.com.